The internet really is the birth of the global mind. The internet is the light at the end of the dark tunnel. It is creating a global society. A global consciousness. We can all decide what we keep and what we replace. The popular culture is a mass hallucination, and when we step outside of the mass hallucination, then we see the real world. Nature loves courage. Make the commitment, and then nature will respond to that commitment by removing the impossible obstacles. Dream the impossible dream, and it will lift you up. This is the trick. This is how the magic is done. Half the time, we think that we are thinking, but in reality we are actually listening and responding to the environment around us. Change your environment, and your thoughts change. Go into the nature, and you discover yourself. If you do not have a plan for your own life, then you become part of somebody else's plan, and they will use you up. We have the technological power and the engineering skills to save our nature, to cure disease, to feed the hungry, to end the suffering. But we lack the intellectual vision or the courage to change our minds. We must evolve our mind from the 10,000 years of egoistic behavior. And it is not easy. Our global problem is not to find the answer. The problem is to face the answer and the solutions that tell us that we were wrong. It is hard to accept to be wrong. The ego is not helping in this situation. When you stop feeding your own ego, then you meet your own soul. The people are so distant from their own soul that when they meet their soul, then they think that it comes from another universe. The future of humanity is in the communication with our own soul. The dreams and the powerful plants can help us with that. Nature and the plants do have the answers. We must return to the nature and start listening. And I want to make it clear. I speak about the power of the psychedelic experience, because I think that the people should be informed about their birthright. And I feel very sad when people might go from birth to the grave without ever having a psychedelic experience. It's a birthright to find your own soul and the people should be informed about that.
Now we appear to be about to move from the strictly human domain to the human-machine symbiosis, and of course machines process information, make connections, and do their work at a rate thousands of times faster than any human being can do alone. And that's what I mean by saying that. The time is speeding up, speeding up, speeding up.